good morning guys good afternoon it's 7 pm today is a saturday uh, april 2nd and i'm recording the video for april 1st uh, friday okay so overall this week and next week will give us a calm clue whether yes wants to go to all time high or higher towards or towards 4100 right beginning this week or last week it's pointing upward but we have to wait till end of week right so end of week means friday so friday is closing at least for now it's pointing to the higher side now we just need to see next week the follow through you know so but at least for now it is pointing to the higher side you know nfp today overnight was a small tight range equal to <coughs> price expansion is possible and either price will correct itself by going higher than yesterday's high or stay and so stay higher or lower below yesterday's low and stay low right that is the see this scenario happened right below yesterday's thursday's low and stayed lower uh, but end of the day you know it came back up and closed higher see that is the point yesterday it was all about 4600 4598 that area decided to the sell side and price at the end reached its intended destination of 452910 however so it was yesterday's low was 4529 or so right and then after their entire overnight it is holding it above which is a good support you know for this short term buyers you know so this area is a good support and you can see it price actually went all the way up to here i guess right so because i was see here uh 45 10 which is this right so pretty much yes it poked down uh to options level 4500 but you can see it see and then it just held above 45 10 see so that's why that area is important and that area is very important for the next week so next week you want to see price holding above 45 10 right ideally backup is even this up to below above both this if next week close comes above this or this you know higher up most likely it will go towards 4700 you know or so uh, but we have to go step by step but by the time midterm buyers are back in the business and now they are joining short term that is the clue we are getting it okay so just wait for that next week closing price also so i'm just giving you all these hints you know uh so but if price continues to hold about this or 45 42 then we have to assume that buyers are still there right so they are still there uh entire yesterday internals were not supporting selling and today friday was also same case Inter internals were not supporting the selling you know that is the something of scenario consistent hold below that area equal to sellers are active you know below this area same story for nq you know nq has to keep below sellers have to keep below 990 you know sorry, sorry not 15990 it's a 14990 you know and a price pretty much stayed below it you know and backup is 15,040. You know, anything above buyers may take control. Dream numbers are important as usual. You know, Russell, I did not look into it, but you can check these levels. You know, uh, Dow also you can check this. You know, crude also you can check this. You know, dream numbers are 946 and 918. Okay, so now let's go here. Right. So, dream number 946 and 918, right? So, our usually rule of thumb is, so this is was the note. I put it in pre-market when I published the plan at 6 o'clock. This is what I typed it here, you know, when I shared the chart with them. Below more sellers active, right? This is 49990, where sellers have to keep it below, correct? So, price was below it. And then our common theme is below dream number, sellers usually are active, above dream number, buyers usually active, right? That's a theme usually for every day. So here you can see it in pre-market, this dream number, right? It's held it here, see that? To the dot almost, right? Then it slides through during known farm payroll, it slides through this 918, another dream number, right? So now price is below both dream numbers before open. And then when an open price open, you can see it, it retested this dream number as a resistance right and then it tank and then it never came back above it right so now you know this area is important both of this right and so does this so below this seller still have a control about this you know you will see some buyers coming back into the business right and then entire day price 10 uh, stay down right 
so for ES right 4529 which is this and 4510 right which is this right so you can see price actually here it tried to break down went higher right came back down right stayed here stayed here stayed down stayed down right but you can see this thing see this is not a weakness right so it's the same scenario as yesterday you know on Thursday price went down but internals went did not go down actually here also right of the open you can see there was a strong bullish disconnect right here you know plus 900 or so you know AD and here also very good AD right and price was opening around at closing this is ideally should have supposed to be zero right so this was a strong bullish disconnect so you can't short it of the open right and even though price went down right yes I could have taken a trade here you know this is all good looking good after the fact but in real time when you look at this see, this is how sometimes people say you know what it looks easy to short right but it is not in fact if you look at it here right right of the open this things and this thing is plus you know way higher 900 right do you want to short here assuming there is gonna go down no way you can't even short even price comes to the low you are rather of you are better off buying it here than selling it you know because of this so and then eventually this thing happened right and you can see even even though if you bought it here right it bounced almost seven points right so buying it and you you can be comfortable taking this long based on the internals then shorting it here because shorting is no guarantee because price was yes you are going with the price but these things were way too strong to short you know so but anyway and even you can see it's second attempt it's a failed breakdown and price bounce hard you know almost what uh, 12 13 points right so but this things is telling a story here see it's a breakdown right first time see if these buyers were so strong based on the internals price should not have come back down ideally and try to do a breakdown effort right so here somebody bought it you know so that's fine and then it was holding here right and then it went higher correct but if you look at it here see there is a story here you have to just read it you know nicely uh, see these things this was trending down actually right if this buyers were strong they held it against the down price in the morning then on the way up why it is not going higher see so by this time buyers tried their tried to control it you know even though price was going down up to this point onwards they flipped it actually right in this environment they flipped their positions you know so when it went higher they were selling it actually you know and you can see it here right and then you can see this thing also completely below zero now see this was a good shot right here you know so uh, which was here you know right here in cube 24 hour we were close to it you know this was a good shot in both of them right so and in qz ad was also down right snp ad was also going down by that time so this was a good shot not here here and then another good shot was first of a low which is this you know uh, sorry this morning balance bottom you know, which is price broke through it right and then came back up this was a very good shot also you know which is lining up uh, with not with NQ actually 24 hour VWA but it, but now it was second test so you let it go but this one was a good shot you know because looks like price wants to continue trending downwards right and then if you shorted it you watch out here at the low because that is what price was doing any single low second test is always bouncing bouncing right so here it may bounce so when you start to see when you see these bounces you have to bail out right and then you have to wait but by the time you can see sellers are still in control but starting this point onwards you can see it, this thing is still holding well above zero line see all of them this is also I would consider above zero line right so now you can't short it randomly but you have to share short uh, when price is getting exhausted or going into a key level right 
but now technically you can't do anything in this range because now you know after seeing this bounce price is just playing a game with you you know so you have to wait for completely drop or higher about these areas so here that thing happened you know since first our low was broken right and then price went to that 45 chain pretty much here correct by the time now you can see this momentum like this it is coming down here right so only two things can be possible at that time price can either bounce and go higher or go down right so when it pop back up here you know so this level is was not an ideal level to short but nq was the key here to take this short you know so uh right here if you look at it nq was testing its morning first hour low right here see that this one it was broken down right here right and then nq was pulling back right and this was around same time right so when nq touched this level morning low es also touched my favorite 20 right both combination right and then when price touched it this was close to this low right balance bottom so this was a good shot you know this was the only good shot based on in nq also this was only good shot these were all reading kind of shots this was a perfect shot because price had a time to balance above it it tried to take higher and now buyers failed to take it higher and now price slides through it this was a good shot this you know entire day this two were the very good shots you know and then you manage it you know after that actually this blue line held here see blue lines are powerful as you know already so this blue line basically held it price went higher as expected people shorted it here but in the way down it held it and came back up right so but anyway friday i usually don't trade so i did not take any of this trade right and uh, but friday i'm trying to take off now you know no more trading on fridays but these were the good trades you know so i'm just explaining you how to be patient and look for the selective trade rather than doing random trade in between you know and that be all for today i'll see you on monday